The Atlanta Hawks have just won four out of their last five games, and two of those wins have come against the Boston Celtics, who are easily the clear-cut favorites to come out of the East. And over this recent stretch of games, Atlanta has been living and dying by the play of DeJounte Murray. In this video, we're going to go over what Murray has been able to do to find success on the court, and try to figure out just how far can he single-handedly take the Hawks. Now so far this year, DeJounte Murray has been doing his best statistical work in the mid-range. Murray is currently shooting over 54% on all his in-between jumpers, with a decent amount of volume as well. Physically, Murray stands at 6'5", with a lengthy 6'10 wingspan. And along with that height and reach, DeJounte also gets a ton of lift into his shot, by both elevating off the floor and having a really high release point. Those shooting mechanics allow DeJounte to create these mid-range looks pretty much at will. Because even if his initial attack gets walled off, Murray always has that freakish high pull-up in his back pocket. On this play, you'll see Murray working off the screen. And notice how Jalen Brown is able to fight and get back in front of the ball. And he forces Murray to pick up his dribble. But from this spot, watch how DJ simply pivots out towards the free throw line and elevates over Brown for this fadeaway. Look at this play. Watch Murray skate out to his left and drop down into this drive. And notice how this defender slides and walls off Murray's attack. But DJ from here still has enough space to get the ball to his set point and elevate over this defender for the jumper. Off the bounce, DeJounte also has a really sticky and shifty handle, which he loves to use in open space to both break down the defense and create space for his jumpers. Eastern Conference, Murray pulls up from 18. When slowing down these clips, one small detail you'll notice is that DJ loves to skip his feet up with the ball, which allows him to load up and pick up some momentum to explode downhill and it also allows him to set up countless of other moves as well. One of DeJounte's go-tos is getting to this left to right between, then galloping his feet up. Then once he gets the defense leaning, watch how he's going to transfer his weight to his outside foot, and cross the ball back over to his left. And what sets this move up is Murray's ability to explode out of the skip. Notice here how he's able to get Porzingis' hips to open up towards his right, which allows Murray to get a ton of separation when he crosses the ball back to his left. Right now, Murray. And then all these skips with the ball also gives Murray some extra time to read the defense. Watch him here transfer the ball to his right hand, and again skip his feet up. And notice how Porzingis is sitting on Murray's left side, allowing DeJounte to simply pick up into his shot with his right hand. Now, when attacking to his spots, Murray also has really good balance and stability with the ball, which allows him to aggressively attack into open space, to then stop on a dime and rise up for a balanced jumper. Watch him here off the catch transfer the ball between, to again gallop his feet up to pick up momentum into this drive. And as he starts coming downhill, notice how he gets Austin Reeves' hips to open up. So in response, DeJounte is going to slam the brakes by planting his right foot and snatching the ball through for this jumper. You'll see him hit the same move here, except Murray now is going to initiate the drive with this push cross. And again, notice how he pulls the defense's momentum downhill towards the basket. And DeJounte gets him completely lost with his snatch. This is also a tough move here, where Murray is going to drop his level and bring his right foot up going between. Then watch him punch that right foot back, which pushes him into this drive. Then notice how Murray has the stability to pop up for a vertical jumper, while the defense's momentum is being pulled towards the basket. Now on top of all that skill and pace with the ball, Murray is also a really physical driver. He loves to initiate contact and carve his way to spots, to then bump and separate into his jumper. You'll see him here refuse this screen, and notice how DeJounte puts his inside shoulder into this big's chest, and bumps him down below the basket, allowing him to rise up with a short jumper. This is also a tough move here, where Murray is going to again set up this attack by skipping his feet up and transferring the ball back through. And watch him create some leverage into this drive by swiping with his off arm and pulling himself downhill. Then he's going to again bump and separate out into his shot. 
Now all these skills and physical tools translate right over to Murray's deep paint scoring. DeJounte is great at both using that shifty handle to break down the first line of defense, to then use his length in the paint to find finishing windows. Watch him here get back to his go-to between cross combo, but instead of picking up into a jumper, Murray is going to take one dribble and explode through this gap, to then pick up into a two foot finish. This is a nice change of pace move here, where DeJounte beats his initial defender at half court, and notice how he slows down and lifts his eyes and chest up, which pulls this defender out of his stance, opening up this push cross back to Murray's strong right hand. Going to the basket. So while Murray for sure has the skill and tools to put pressure on the rim, he does struggle at times to consistently generate points around the basket. So far this year, Murray has been a below average rim finisher. When watching these clips, the first thing that stands out to me is that Murray doesn't get a ton of lift off the floor. When getting into these shots around the basket, Murray heavily relies on his length to stretch out and find finishing angles. But when going up against other lengthy defenders or playing in traffic, it is pretty apparent that Murray athletically doesn't get a ton of pop off the floor. Take this play for example, you'll see Murray drop down into this right hand drive, and as he picks up into this finish, notice how he isn't able to generate any kind of force off the floor, and this layup falls short off the glass. Now players don't necessarily have to be crazy athletic to effectively score around the basket. There are plenty of guys around the league who are great at both using their body and footwork in the paint to create scoring angles, but from the film I've seen, I don't think Murray is the most dynamic or creative downhill score. After beating the first line of defense, DeJounte is primarily a straight line driver, which makes it easier for defenders to time him into his finishes. Now one way Murray is able to work around his inefficiency at the rim is to instead get into these extended out floaters. And Murray does have good touch with these extended out 8 to 10 foot push shots. When setting up these looks, Murray is great at decelerating off the dribble and creating windows to get these shots off. You'll see him here attack across the middle with his left. And as he picks up, notice how he sinks his weight down, which allows him to stop his downhill momentum and rise up for a vertical floater while the defense is drifting back. So overall, Murray can provide plenty of punch as a score. He's one of the most efficient mid-range scorers across the league right now. Plus, he also has plenty of tools to get downhill and put pressure on the rim. And he may not be the most dynamic or efficient scorer around the basket, but he can still generate points by leaning on his length or stopping short into these runners. And then on top of all that, Murray is also shooting a career high from three, making him a real three level scoring threat. And then all that scoring in return pulls heavy attention from the defense, which then opens up DeJounte's playmaking. Now overall, I wouldn't say DeJounte is the most advanced passer. He doesn't map the floor as well as some of the other elite playmakers across the league. But Murray is still good about making the simple and effective reads. Come on, hon. On this play, you'll see Murray get the switch off his screen, and when this defender slides down too deep in gap, Murray's going to make the easy swing pass that leads to a catch and shoot 3. And when DJ turns the corner and is playing around these in between spots, the defense is well aware of his mid range score, which opens up more of these routine kickout passes. Right here, notice as Murray starts to attack and gets below the top of the key, how the entire floor collapses towards the ball, which opens up another catch and shoot three. Garrison. And got the three. When playing in pick and roll, DeJounte also loves to use his length to extend out and create these passing windows. Notice here how the defense throws an aggressive double team at the ball, but DJ from here can simply extend up and delivered this pass to the roller over the defense. On this play, you'll see Murray receive another double team, but this time the weak side defense is going to slide down and tag the roller, which opens up this pass back across to the shooter spotting up. And then on top of all these long and rangy passes, DeJounte also has the ability to knife these tight pocket passes through gaps if need be. So Atlanta has definitely shown that they have the ability to compete with some of the best teams across the league. 
But going forward, in order for this team to make it through the play-in and possibly win some games in the playoffs, DeJounte Murray is going to have to be more than spectacular. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments what you think of DeJounte Murray's game. The kids here.